sir. We live. We back, man. Welcome, welcome back to the Golden Goose DFS experience. We are the leaders in the single entry three max and twenty max contest space. But even if that's your, not, even if that's not your particular style of play, man, this is one of the best spots you can be in if you're playing NFL and NBA DFS in general. Go on and hit that subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on so you know when the videos and content drop. Me. I'm your humble host, man, Chandler Blakely, a.k.a. Goose. And all I'm going to ask for you to do is just hit that like button for your boy, man. It helps the channel grow. It's greatly appreciated. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in, all right? This is my third and goal series where I bring you three plays across the positions on the Sunday NFL main slate. We are talking running backs today. The QB video is already out, man. Go check that out if you haven't. We're talking running backs. Got three of them queued up, man. Like I said on the QBs video, it's definitely going to be a rough slate, man. Everybody going to kind of gravitate to the same type of play. So you're going to want to get different in a couple of spots. I don't really miss. Well, go check out the QBs video, man. I, I get a little better breakdown on what I do this time of year. We're talking running backs today. Got three of them queued up for you. And let's talk about it, man. At the top, your thumbnail the guy I'm looking at, if you saw the QB video, you know I talked about the run back potential in this game and it's being the best game on the slate. But I want to look at James Cook right here, running back for the Buffalo Bills, going against this Chiefs defense that has been pretty tough this year, been pretty solid. But this Bills offense is coming into his own, and what they've been doing lately is targeting the backs a little more. James Cook is highly targeted, highly used in his past game. He's been getting heavy touches lately. You can see him right here with <coughs> – <coughs> man, pardon me. You see him right here last week with 22 touches, seven targets in the passing game. I definitely think he could continue to see work, especially going against Chris Jones and that pass rush from the Chiefs up front. I like getting the James Cook here. Just got to hope he gets uh, some – Red zone carries or some red zone touches can get in the end zone. His Achilles heel, he just haven't found the end zone that much this season. But 16 points last week, 19 the week before with a touchdown, 16 the week before without a touchdown. He has a solid safe floor here, I think, in this matchup due to the way they're using him in the passing game. And this has the potential to be the best game on the slate and probably the highest scoring game. So I definitely want to get to running backs on efficient offenses that score a lot. Give me James Cook right here at 6K. Next up, man, a guy you're going to have to play again. I don't care if he's chalky. I hope, Matter of fact, I hope he's not chalky. I hope people are scared away a little bit and ownership's a little bit down on him. But I think you got to go right back to Zach Moss, man. If you had him last week, I know he left a bad taste in your mouth. He failed for me too. But the touches and the opportunity were there. He just did not get in the end zone. Fast forward to this week, similar situation, man. Great matchup going against this Bengals defense that can be had on the ground. The offense is projected for a pretty uh, solid implied team total. I think they're 22, 21 points right there this week. So he should have opportunities in the red zone and at the goal line again. He's used in the passing game. He's going to play every snap pretty much. Give me Zach Moss here at 5,900 going right back to the well against these Cincinnati Bengals. I'm hoping y'all scared off of him a little bit and don't really want to go back there. I still like the price for him. He should have a great workload in this spot. Give me Zach Moss at 59. Hundred, all right, and then finishing it out, man, rounding it out. A guy I want to look at is Javante Williams, fifty-eight hundred. Denver Broncos going against this Chargers defense. Listen, the Broncos want to run the ball. They want to slow the game down. They want to play good defense. Run the ball, control the clock, and make Russell Wilson pass as as few as as. As uh as low as possible, man. He does. They don't want him throwing the ball around 30, 40 times a game. If they can keep him to that twenty to twenty eight pass attempt range and run the ball solidly, I think that's what they want to try to do. They're in a great spot against this Chargers defense. Has just been getting killed on the ground, man. Absolutely destroyed. Javante Williams is the feature back over here. He's getting all the touches. He's definitely going to get the goal line touches as he's a bigger back than McLaughlin. Unless they want to do one of them little trick plays or reverses. But five and in should be Javante Williams getting the touches. He's used in the pass game, so he has some target upside. I like him here in this spot, man. I think you can finally see this Denver Broncos rushing attack go over the 100-yard mark a little bit here. 
I like Javante Williams, man. Maybe he gets about 20 carries here in this spot, 101 in the touchdown, maybe two in this spot. I like I like the upside here. I like getting to him here in this matchup, all right? There you have it, man. Your three running backs this week, Javante Williams, Zach Moss, and James Cook. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get them in your player pools. They for sure going to be in mine, all right? That's going to do it for us here today, man. Y'all know the motto. Go check out that quarterback video if you haven't done it. Chances make champions, man. Y'all green up. I'll catch y'all next time, all right? Let's get it.